We're back on backlash. The road to backlash. Excuse me. But. <clears throat> and this match right here. Does he get his mind off of Zuko after what happened last time on SmackDown Live? As Kevin Owens said to go one on one against Nick Virtue. Now, when you think about it, these last few weeks, Zuko has assaulted Virtue on many occasions. We don't know why, but Zuko wants to speak on his own terms. Doesn't want to talk to Renee Young. He'll speak on his own terms. But for now, Virtue has to stay focused. Has to stay focused on this. Making his way to the ring from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 217 pounds, Nick V. For Nick Virtue, his future is calling dibs on the WWE Championship. And he did that the night after WrestleMania. The night after WrestleMania, Nick Virtue has called dibs on becoming WWE Champion. Saying that he'll come back stronger than ever. And when he does, he wants to be WWE Champion. But what happened the night after, Zuko, from out of nowhere, blindsided Virtue. We don't know why. And ever since then, Zuko has targeted Nick. He's been targeting Nick for no reason. There's no reason on why. But every time Zuko's trying to talk to... Well, every time Renee Young's trying to talk to Zuko, it's like Zuko doesn't want to speak. Like, he's silent. Like, he wants to speak on his own terms. intensity right now in the face of Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is here for one thing and one thing only, and that's to fight. That's fight, Owens, fight for you. And Kevin Owens, he's been doing this and in the independent that, circuit before coming to the WWE, a former Ring of Honor World WWE. Champion, a former Kyle NXT Reigns. Champion, so Intercontinental Champion, the United States Champion. Kevin Owens really quite the crafty veteran in the independent circuit. But this is the mind of Nick Virtue. Get Zuko off your mind and focus on Kevin Owens throughout this match. Here we go. Nick Virtue looked to take his mind off of Zuko after what happened in these last few weeks as he set the battle Kevin Owens. Well, Virtue actually got a little bit of payback by assaulting Zuko when Zuko tried to make his in-ring debut against Johnny Gargano. And now, Virtue has Owens by the arm. And let's go. And Kevin Owens. Samoan drop by Kevin Owens. And already an early pin attempt. No, kick out from Virtue. Oh, blocked it and ow, oh, forearm. Also, I do want to state, <clears throat> you didn't see the call insider. Oh, first things first, look at Kevin Owens, look at this. Argent, oh man, they do a neck breaker. Kevin Owens, what a neck breaker. And a kick to the back. All right, <clears throat> if you haven't seen the call insider, like, I shall tell you what Lex was talking about. Extreme rules, there'll be a triple threat qualifying match. And why a qualifying match? Well, a qualifying match to be in a fatal four-way elimination match at one night only in the near future. So, um, the competitors in this triple threat match that Lex has already said, cover, kick out, the competitors that Lex actually said are Sub-Zero, El Miato, and Ken Falcon. 
So those three superstars will be in a triple threat qualifying match come Extreme Rules. So that's official, and what a shoulder knockdown from Kevin Owens. And Virtue, what series of kicks to the face of Owens. And now, punch, and another shot right to Owens. And Owens goes down. And <clears throat> cover, leg hook on Owens, and Kevin Owens able to kick out. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about still, I'll say it right here. <clears throat> there will be a series of triple threat qualifying matches on Monday Night Raw. And whoever wins those qualifying matches will be in the fatal four-way match at one night only. And whoever wins no that Fatal 4 Elimination scary. match come no, one night no, no. only no. will get a guaranteed contract to be in the Monday Night Raw roster. The first Triple Threat qualifying match will start at Extreme Rules this is, this is with Sub-Zero, Ken Falcon, and El Miato. Those three men will be in a Triple Threat qualifying match come Extreme He's Rules. So to those three men, I wish them good Better luck right at Extreme in. Rules. So there you that go. That's what, happened. That's what happened. That's what happened to the Call Insider. A uh, triple threat qualifying match come Extreme so Rules. And after that, a series of qualifying matches. Triple threat qualifying matches that will happen on Monday Night Raw. Uh -oh. And then the Fatal 4 way Elimination match next. to determine who will be the newest oh, member yeah. of the Monday Night Raw roster. And look at that! Oh, look at the strength! You and slamming him down! Nick Virtue, wow! That was a 266 pound man, and Kevin Owens able to around. escape it! Now, back on topic of the match here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, Cannonball! No Cannonball! No Cannonball! And look at this! He and Kevin Owens able to get out of Dodge. Oh, he's got a headbutt Virtue. You know, for, for Virtue, he has to stay focused on Kevin Owens. I mean, he doesn't want to... Uh-oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh man. A package slam. And Kevin Owens, of course, showing off as usual. And he gets him with the counter. For Virtue, he has to stay focused on Kevin Owens. I mean, he wants to stay ahead. Oh, on Owens instead of Zuko. Because right he knows He's somewhere in the back, Zuko, maybe somewhere around the arena, off. watching very closely. Oh, what the hell is he going to do next? We don't know, but Virtue. Very sweet symphony. Right to Owens. And that is it. Bob's your uncle. Nick Virtue is bouncing back. Here is your winner, Nick V. Oh, what? Oh, also later tonight, not on this, but on, on Raw, we just heard that there'll be showcase matches. El Miato, Sub Zero, and Ken Falcon will be in showcase matches come Monday Night Raw, so stay tuned for that. Nick Virtue bouncing back on SmackDown Live. Nick Virtue bouncing back. Oh, oh no, wait! Oh no, Zuko! Where did Zuko come from? But Virtue! Striking! And takes out the Ripper! Sayonara, Zuko! Zuko once again tried by a sick Virtue who stands tall here tonight! You saw how Zuko tried to assault Virtue, but this time that didn't work. Oh, things are gonna get combustible in a matter of weeks, but. Let's move on here, because this, ladies and gentlemen, is the number one contenders tag team match. It will be American Alpha versus The New Day. The winner of this match will get a guaranteed tag team title opportunity at Backlash. That's right, whoever wins this one will face the Nick Club, Cat Noir and Timmy Turner for the SmackDown Tag Team Titles. Come back, Lass. But for now, here comes one of the former tag champs. The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 447 pounds, Jason Jordan and Chad Gable, American Alpha. Guys, 
guys, I don't remember the last time I saw Jason Jordan this focused. Yeah, he's clearly on a mission tonight. That mission is to become SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Last season, American Alpha actually won the tag team titles by defeating the Skilled Foundation at Roadblock. But they lost the tag team titles at SummerSlam, so. But hey, the rain wasn't that short, so. You know, the rain wasn't that short. I mean, hell, they actually, like, defended, like, twice. House shows. So for. American. Oh. One of the best teams sold the tag team titles. The New Day on their way to the ring. Four times they're tag team champions. Four times that these three men have been tag team champions. Hell, they're the longest reigning tag team champions in history. 483 days they held the tag team titles. And they are proclaimed as one of the best tag teams alongside the Usos, American Alpha, and the NC. But a win here for the New Day, meaning that if they manage to win at Backlash, they can be five time, five time, five time, five time, five time, five time WWE Tag Team Champions. Can you dig it? That is an all Booker T mode right there, but. It's Biggie and Kofi Kingston this time. At WrestleMania, they weren't really successful against the Kingdom. But if they win against American Alpha, there's a chance. And here it is. Here go, oh, look at that. Oh, talk about Jason Jordan using that Roman style wrestling, the Olympian style wrestling already on Big E. But Jason Jordan, though. Here comes Jason. Oh! The suplex. The suplex and now Big E able to counter. Oh. Nope. Shot to the midsection. Oh, go behind Jeremy. Oh, Big E! And Big, Big E, what a takedown. And Big E with the elbow right to Jason Jordan to the chest. Jump on it and oh, right stomp to right to the chest of Jordan, the gut, chest, gut, whatever. I'll give, I'll give credit credit oh, the Big E, what a shot. Nope. You can hear Xavier that. Woods playing on his trombone, wheeling on Big E here. Oh, no. Counter from Jason Jordan. And Jason from the side with that suplex right to Big E. You know, last season, American Alpha, if you did see Roadblock, they defeated the Skilled Foundation to win the first tag team titles, only to lose the tag team titles at SummerSlam to Skilled Foundation. Skilled Foundation became oh, three time tag team champions. But hell, the New Day actually had wars. They went, they went to war with the Usos. Hell, the Skill Foundation, at least. I mean, I mean, hell, the Skill Foundation. Why not? Because those two teams, they put on a clip for the tag team titles. There's those stomps. Matt Jack Gable stomping away at Big E here. Oh, look at the strength of Chad Gable. Oh man. The strength of Chad Gable. He's going for it all. And Gable to the very top. What's this? Uh -oh, he's in trouble here. Chad Gable wanting Big E. From the back again. Oh, this time Big E saw it coming. And here comes the high-flying Kofi Kingston. 
Kofi Kingston, the all experienced uh, tag team champion, Intercontinental champion, United States champion. Kofi's very much a, a high flyer. Oh, big time back suplex to Kingston. You know, actually, two seasons ago, I will say it's two seasons ago. Oh, wants to drop the elbow, but no. Two seasons ago. Oh, look at that clothesline from Kofi. Two seasons ago, Chad Gable actually competed in the X Division Championship Tournament. He actually lost in that tournament. CJ, however, won the tournament to become a two-time X Division Champion. So, yeah, there's your history fact right there. And Gable. Oh, no, Kingston. Oh, Kingston's got him up. Remember, the winner of this match will face the Nick Club for the SmackDown Tag Team Titles at Backlash. Oh, oh and Chad Gable, though. Gable with a huge counter. And a drop kick. A beautiful drop kick by Gable. Oh, and Gable, look at this. Gable right to the arm of Kofi Kingston. And dropping Kingston's arm corner. here. And, he and here comes the powerful right Big E. Oh, shoulder knockdown. Oh, God! Freight train! Choo choo! Freight train ahead! Oh, kick to the face of Big E. And up. Oh. Nope. Oh. Right to the back of the head of Big E and Big E able to counter. Okay, can WWE actually bring back Big E Langston? Because just saying Big E is like, I don't know why they cut off the Langston part. I understand Cesaro. Oh, wait. Oh my god, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? And Big E able to kick out. What the hell was that? What the hell was that, that from Gable? And Gable to the very top. Gable moonsault. A beautiful moonsault by Chad Gable. I understand Cesaro. I understand Neville. Rusev. Sure, I guess I can understand why. Because the Alexander is like, yeah, but Big E. It's just, uh, and Big E with that shot to the face. And now, uh-oh. The power of Big E slamming Gable's back in the corner and slamming him down. And the belly to belly. The belly to belly by Big E. Uh-oh. And Gable. Nope. Nope. Counter from Gable. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, Grant. Nope. I think they're going for Grand Amplitude. Well, I guess not. No Grand Amplitude for Big E. Oh, what a shot! And that's the tag. Snapmare. What is this? Whoa! Catapulted into the double knees! And here comes Jason Jordan! There's the shot! Well, missed the drop kick there. It's almost for that. Oh, well, there's the kick! Oh, well, someone's for that. And this time the jump kick connects! Oh, missed him. Nope, got him! What is this? Oh, had him in a tiger clutch! And Kofi Kingston, Mitchell up your driver to Jason Jordan! And Kofi! Uh oh, here comes the high flying! Kofi Kingston! Monkey flip! And here comes the high flying Kofi! There's the cross body! Will they die? Can they go to backlash here? No! Kick out from Jason Jordan! Oh, but look at, look at Jordan! Oh, Kofi Kingston to the midsection and Jordan! Oh, lateral press! To go to backlash! He and Jason Jordan able to kick out! Also, I do want to say this. I got a Yo Mama joke for Daniel Donahue, a.k.a. CCW Prince Macau fanboy. Daniel Donahue's so ugly. 
Oh, yeah, he's so ugly. Can I get it? Can I get it? Oh, he's so ugly. That when he started looking out the window, he, his ass got arrested for mooning. And the cops said, get your bitch ass in the car. Matter of fact, police! Arrest Daniel Taylor you for being a stupid motherfucker. It's been a long time since I had to talk about Daniel Donahue. It's been a while, so yeah. I kind of miss what Jason Jordan did because that actually got me all kinds of feeling good about myself. But, okay, let me see. I got another joke right here. I got another joke right here. Oh, look at that! A boy, a boy sending Kofi back into the ring! How good was that? And oh, look at the power. The power! Power of Jason Jordan on display there the power of Jason Jordan all right I got another joke right here listen listen Daniel Donna you so stupid he thought Goku's Kamehameha wave was an actual wave Grand Amplitude wait a minute wait a minute Xavier Woods Xavier Woods Xavier Woods Saving this damn match! Missed him! Xavier Woods! Uh oh, call it, call it, call it, call it. Oh man! Here's another joke right here. Another third joke for Daniel Donahue. CCW Prince Macau fanboy. The only fanboy that you are is sucking people's you know what. That's the sound he makes on. Any other way. Oh, leg drop by Gable. Alright, um, the joke is Daniel Donna, you so ugly! When Ice Cube looked at him, he melted! What's this? Oh, Atomic Jump. Oh my damn! Atomic Jump into a big boot! That was, that was impactful. But Kofi sidestepped the kick there. Into the corner. Uh oh. Oh, oh, wait a minute! Oh, yes! The Unicorn Stampede! Get yourself some! Uh, get yourself some! Also, I did block that. Also, I did block Daniel Down at you. No matter how many times he makes the account, I will block his bitch ass. Oh, and Big E doing the drop kick. Could that do it? Oh, but you saw how Jason Jordan was trying to go cover. And now kick out. Ah, right, suplex to. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Big E. Big E. The big ending. The big ending. The big E. New Day are going to Backlash! The New Day are going to Backlash! Can they be? Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Can the New Day be five time tag team champions? Come Backlash! Get ready and see, cause the power of positivity is coming! You're away! Come back, Lash! Get your booty jiggling. Yeah! Stay tuned for more Row 2.